Jones County Commissioner Daylon Martin compares spending money on the Griswoldville Industrial Park to taking bitter medicine. It's not easy to do, but you've got to swallow it if you want to make things better. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin explains. For $700,000 of the new penny sales tax money will be dedicated to a sewage system in the industrial park. And while that doesn't sound like the most attractive way to spend money, Commissioner Martin thinks it will be the best thing for the community. The list goes on with jobs and on payroll tax and on sales tax with fuel tax. The tax money generated off a successful industrial park could benefit a community greatly. Again, if we can draw businesses in to Jones County, then we can offset a plethora of needs, and I think it'll benefit the county as a whole. And that's Jones County Commissioner Daylon Martin's point. As one of the projects on the new SPLOSS list, the board voted to invest $700,000 into Griswoldville Industrial Park. But there's a problem. Do you have sewer? No. We're immediately out of the running. Martin believes the lack of a sewage system for businesses has prevented growth there for years. The key to any industrial park or light industrial park or commercial park is having sewer, electricity, and water. Once we have sewer, that opens us up to the door to really compete with some good counties and for good business. Commissioner Tommy Robinson said at Tuesday night's SPLOST vote, his constituents didn't want to fund the as-of-yet failed project. But Martin says businesses will want to come. Number one, great place to live. We have a very safe community, uh, great education. We have a development authority that's willing to work and a commission that's supporting the effort. So come on to Jones County. Martin said it's all about getting the infrastructure built in Jones. He says neighboring counties are a better option for businesses right now, and that's what the improved industrial park will hopefully change.